Unfortunately, we don't have really wonderful shields for uh, rushing in at this point in time. Intruders, kill the hostage. We need to hurry. They're gonna kill it. Watch it, Garrus. You must die. Whoa. Look out! She was just coming for me. You must die. Ha <laughs> ha! Smack you in the face. What the hell just happened to me there? That was weird. Ah, it's something that's uh, hitting all of us, I think. All right. Nice. That went much better. Only got two minutes left. I think if we uh, rescue him immediately, then uh, we don't get anything, is the problem. Ooh, this is a, a rough one. I don't think I'm going to get in there. Uh, got it. All right. I think that's how it works, is if you don't investigate and grab things before you finish this stuff off, then you don't get anything. Take it. Anything else in here? Doesn't look like it. Got a minute and a half to investigate. Should be fine. I do not see anything going on around here. Unfortunately, that might be whoop, it for most of what we're going to take from this. Probably make a mad dash for it around 30 seconds. No, thank you. Nothing. Tally got rocked a little bit during this mission, but uh, we're not that bad off. Not this time around, anyway. Just don't get stuck on crates, man. That stuff will kill you. See how it is? You write letters and everyone ignores you. Force is the only thing people appreciate. So how about if I kill Chairman Burns and finish the charade? Please, I was trying to help you people. Why don't you calm down? Let's not do anything we're all gonna regret. Why not? What have we got to lose? Since the chairman here decided that we didn't get reparations, we've got nothing left to live for. But I've changed my mind. Seeing you all, it, it, it's clear that you all deserve... You had your chance. Some L2s are nearly crippled from side effects of the implants, but you voted against reparations. Yeah, but you need Burns. Think about this. Burns is the one man who can help you. Yes, if you release me, I can take another look at the reparations request. What, we're supposed to trust you? Sure, you promise us freedom and say everything will be fine, but as soon as we surrender, you'll double-cross us. Unfortunately, this is as much as you're gonna get. I'm not promising to let you go. All I'm saying is that Burns will take another look. Right, Burns? Absolutely. I had no idea that the L2 biotics were this desperate. If I'd known, the reparations will come. For whatever it's worth, I promise that. You're right. I don't want to die. Maybe something will happen this time. We surrender. Thank you, Commander. I thought I was dead when they took me. I'll see to it that the reparations discussion is reopened. I didn't know they were so desperate. Just doing my job. A Fifth Fleet cruiser will be by shortly to pick you and the prisoners up. Aha! Paragon! Thank you, Commander. I thought I was dead when they took me. Uh, it looks like they're going to let us uh, look around here, so... I guess I was incorrect. Uh, this looks like I am not going to really have a chance to make it on through here, unfortunately. All right, let's override it. Was it worth it? I don't think so. 
Um, in fact, I'm just going to reduce all this to Omnigel. Meh. I, I wanted to reduce all of it. Can we just go? <laughs> Negative 13 Omnigel for that. Ick. What do we got over here? This one looks a little bit easier. Perfect. Uh, and I think I'm pretty much going to reduce all of this to Omnigel as well. So maybe we'll get more or less back to where we were. Perfect. Definitely going to need Omnigel in the future with how terrible I'm at, Frogger. Alright, anything else in here? No? Well, knowing that they allow us to investigate around like this, I'll probably just go for the gold in the future. I doubt there's anything else. I'm pretty sure we found pretty much everything. What was that? Mount. What are you talking about, Mount? I have no idea what it's talking about with Mount. I can't get on that or anything. It is not a horse and I cannot ride it. What are you talking about, Mount? Alright, well, good enough. I think we've explored what we're going to explore. So let's get back to the entrance. Oh. This is not open, apparently. I thought I already uh, opened that earlier. So that even looks like the same stuff. Oh, and we got a stimulant pack three, too. Uh, let's see here. That's probably for armor. Let's see what a stimulant pack three actually does. 9% cooldown reduction. Eh, it's okay. It's okay. I'm going to keep the uh, armor plating on, I think. All right. Uh, striker three. Pretty junky. Striker 2, even more junky. I think once you get to 3, the money starts being better, so I'll probably keep 3s around, but 2s, I think I'm going to start Omni-Gelling. And 1s, I will definitely Omni-Gel. Uh, these, however, I may want to keep, just because they are nice weapons. Definitely Omni-Gel that, though. All right. Let's see. Reaper 3. That's pretty nice. Accuracy is pretty crap. But. Hmm. Nah. I'll wait for uh, another Alanis Risk Control sniper rifle because it will probably give me that better accuracy plus the damage at the same time. So I'll leave that alone. And this is human, and this is Turian. Someday you will be able to wear this. Do I want you to wear it? I'm not sure yet. The heavy armor, though, not going to be wearable by anyone on our team. I'll just sell it. All right. Message coming in. Patching it through. Thank you for dealing with the hostage situation, Commander. Chairman Burns was quite impressed by the way you resolved the situation peacefully. Sort of peacefully. Your assistance above and beyond the formal duties has been noted, Commander. Fifth Fleet out. Cool beans, my friend. Cool beans. Apparently we can board this again? I don't know why I would want to board it again. I don't think there's any reason. All right, let's uh, look at uh, Tunshagen here. It's the Shagan planet. 
Dunshagen is a hydrogen-helium gas giant with traces of chlorine and nitrogen in its atmosphere. This sounds kind of familiar. It has an unusually small number of moons for a gas giant, a mere seven. This is no doubt due to the star Farinata capturing the majority of the mass during the nebular collapse that created the system. Nothing to scan there. Let's look at uh, Juntama. Hello. Didn't we, didn't we scan this already? Yeah. Okay. I guess it just decides to blink every once in a while. Jun Tama is a small broiling terrestrial world. Its thin atmosphere of carbon dioxide and ethane is being steadily blown off by the powerful solar wind from the star Farinata. The surface is scorching hot mainly composed of sulfur with deposits of copper. Its density is low enough to leave the world tidally locked to Farinata. The Alliance Defense Data Network notes that several ships have been spotted cruising near Juntama, with transponders turned off. While an Alliance patrol attempted to pursue one, uh, attempted pursuit of one, the unidentified vessel rabbited to FTL. Its trail was lost when it obscured its light trace and the confusion of signals among the Anas, uh, Anansi Ishtar shipping lane. Let's see here. We have recovered a Prothean data disk by surveying this. Scans of Juntama revealed a derelict freighter in mid-stage orbital decay. Our salvage team boarded the vessel and determined it had been attacked by raiders. There was little value still on board, but the team did find a Prothean disk. All right, and we have one more planet, which is Nipnew. Nipnew. With a rare combination of features, Nipnew is a <laughs> of particular interest to the scientific community. Nipnew is a small terrestrial planet with a thin atmosphere of carbon dioxide and krypton. As with all worlds of Farinata, its surface is scorching hot. The crust mainly consists of silicates laced with iron. We have found a rare element by surveying it, which uh, was detected on a nearby moon. It is thorium. All right, and I believe that is everything that we can really find around here. So, it's time to leave Farinata and travel over to uh, Antius. Over in Antius, we have found many, many planets to survey. Let's start with the inner one here, Ajiko, I guess. During the initial survey of the Antius system, only a single flyby probe was spared for the small scorched world of Ajiko. It revealed a planet unusually rich in heavier elements given its size. Ajiko is a standard terrestrial with a thin atmosphere of krypton and xenon. Its crust is mainly composed of magnesium with deposits of cobalt and other heavy metals. Due to extremely rough cratered terrain, starships are discouraged from landing. All right, let's check out our second planet here, Edmus. Edmus is a standard hydrogen helium gas giant with traces of methane in its atmosphere. If Trebin's terraforming is successful, it will uh, it is expected that a helium-3 fuel refining facility for the system will be set up here. We have surveyed a gas deposit. 
While scanning Edmus, we have found a large concentration of hydrogen. No shit. That was uh, in the description of this gas giant. But okay, sure, whatever. Next planet is Pluba. Pluba is the second and by far the larger of Antaeus's two gas giants. Active scans by survey ships have returned tantalizing indications of massive solid structures deep within the atmosphere, too regular in pattern to be anything natural. Some believe Ploba is a Jupiter brain, a planet-sized supercomputer. Adherents of this theory have fruitlessly beamed signals toward the sunken megastructures, hoping to get the machine's attention. Others believe that an ancient space-faring race disposed of their weapons of war by dumping them into the planet. The last attempt to reach and salvage Ploba's deep anomalies went tragically wrong and ended with a crew of 12 being trapped and crushed in the gas giant's lower atmosphere. Let's survey it. Matriarch's writings recovered. We have recovered a strange object orbiting Ploba. Chief Engineer Ab Adams and Tally tried unsuccessfully to determine its origin. They did find one of the Matriarch uh, Dilanaga's writings stored within. Interesting. All right, so we've scanned those. Let's scan this. Ah, it's Tribin. Tribin. It's a place we can land. I do not want to land quite yet, so we'll come back to that. Uh, Hunador. Hunador is a moderately sized ice world with an extremely thin atmosphere composed of krypton and xenon. Its frozen surface is unusually smooth, suggesting widespread uh, uh, repaving by cryovolcanic processes, though no such activity is currently evident. All right, and I believe we only have this one last planet here, Vimal. Vimal is an enormous terrestrial world of mixed rock and ice with an atmosphere of methane and ethane. Its frozen surface is mainly composed of calcium with deposits of iron. Because of noxious surface gases, explorers are warned to use extreme caution. Where element was surveyed, we have found a large deposit of uranium. Lovely. Alright, well, before we go check out Trebin over here, let's go check out what we have found in our ship. We have found a level up, and also Codex and some other stuff. Extinct alien races. Prothean data disk. Despite all the evidence confirming the existence of the Protheans, little is known about their culture and society. From time to time, dig sites will yield new clues, but after 50,000 years of decay, little of value is unearthed. Recent research has focused on the discovery of Prothean data disks. On their own, they are frail and rarely found in one piece. Occasionally, however, an intact disk will be discovered within a console or reading device. To date, over three dozen disks have been recovered, and a few of those have been restored to the point where researchers can begin analyzing them. Though it may be some time before scientists discover a way to transfer the data off the disks, they are currently considered the most tangible leads for learning more about Prothean culture. All right. Let's check out what we are going to level up. We are definitely going to get the ability to equip medium armor here. And then I think we are going to uh, increase throw so we can get lift at some point. And I believe that might mean that we can uh, equip some armor. We only have heavy human armor currently. Ooh, well. All right, well, uh, we'll be back in just a minute. 